Hi, I'm back again. Um, this is a Monday morning. It's pouring down uh, rain outside. It's getting uh, autumn, reaching into autumn here in Sweden. So uh, we have a darker mornings. I have to put on some lights to get some decent look. I'm still kind of, I get this weird lighting, but, but who cares? <clears throat> I got some feedback about my video last week. And that is the, um, I got basically two comments. I'm saying, uh, too much. And I'm, I don't look into the camera. Well, I'll try to get better. I'll probably keep on, uh, far too much. Never mind. <clears throat> In case you don't have annotations enabled on this video, do switch them on because I try to kind of spice up the video with, with the annotations with URLs and other info that I'm talking about so that you can actually follow along better if you, if you want to, if you want to get the details of bugs or references or whatever I talk about. <clears throat> um, last week was uh, an entertaining one, of course, uh, as always, always are. So um, we had this uh, conference in Stockholm called SECT, which is a security related conference. And during that, I wasn't there. I wasn't participating. I was at home here working. But uh, during the event, I got um, pinged by two two friends, actually, <laughs> independently of each other, who told me about a talk that kind of criticized the libcurl uh, API pretty, pretty uh, fiercely or intensely or whatever. And uh, yeah, that was kind of last week's uh, bigger uh, response on the blog for me. So basically what she, the presenter criticizes is that, well, it's an old, it's an old thing to criticize where there was a paper for two, two years ago that criticized the API for libcurl, that it was too easy to do the wrong thing because there's a name that some people think um, is, implies a Boolean value, but it isn't a Boolean. It's, it's basically a tree value, so you can set zero, one, or two for it. Oh, anyway, two years ago, there was this paper, and I kind of agree that it was, I mean, the one value was a stupid thing. It was only there ever for debug, and it shouldn't ever be used in production. So it kind of was a bit misleading, and it could trick people into doing bad code. So we basically remove the one value from it. And then nowadays you're supposed to set zero or two. Uh, and the one value actually returns an error to, to say, to make sure that people get aware um, that the one is wrong. So if you use a one, you should fix that so that all the programs work too before we fix this lib curve. Oh, anyway, basically the presenter of this conference said that, yeah, yeah this is a, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, in, in kind, in pretty, Kind of many words she said that the, 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 the libcurl API for asking for server certificate verification is uh, ridiculously bad. I wouldn't agree. And I'd say she is a, a bit of a narrow view of how things work in the real world. But of course, the, the question is still interesting. What, what kind of what a name implies in, in an API. If, if an API is called something, what, what actually is, do, do people think it does? So yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting conversation to have still. Anyway, so this week in curl then, um, we have some interesting patches on the list actually. So I know I have a lot of stuff that I haven't really gotten back to lately. So I have a lot of uh, old threads to reiterate and bring back to live, but we got some interesting uh, suggestion to support HTTP over UDP, uh, which I know there has been talk about um, in the past, uh, but I don't really know how the server situation is, if there are any servers that actually support HTTP over UDP. I asked the, the, the contributor about this, but I, he hasn't gotten back to us. So I, I'm sure we will have more to see about that soon. And and just yesterday, someone asked about um, implementing HTTP caching in libcurl, which I think is interesting. We'll see. It's kind of a big thing. I mean, there's a lot of logic and there's a lot of stuff that has to go in for, for caching to work, but caching is a pretty fundamental part of HTTP. 
for for uh, more complicated clients at least. So I'm interested. Let's see where, where that goes. And uh, I would say that one of the more interesting bugs I got this week, uh, a couple of days ago, is the new curve bug 1426, which is some kind of failure to download stuff uh, uh, within XBMC. So XBMC uses libcurl to download stuff, and it fails with the latest libcurl, but someone could make sure that the, the previous one, the 737.1 version works. So, and there was a bisect down to a specific patch that was a change by me and that affects how we did timers and timeouts. So I need to dig into that much more to see how that ended up. Yeah, I wanted to mention that HTTP2, I'm going to work more with HTTP2 in curl 2 since I don't have any tests yet in, in curl for HTTP2. So we break it far too easily. And, and we can't make sure that it actually works. And so I'm gonna really push forward to, to make sure that we start getting some tests and start to test HTTP2, the HTTP2 implementation more and better. Uh, because it, <laughs> I've been playing around with it a little bit and it's far too easy to, to um, break, especially when the server isn't, I mean, when we don't agree exactly with the server how to do things. So uh, we have a lot of, things to do there. And regarding HTTP2 in general, we can see that, I mean, uh, we can see that in Firefox now it is enabled by default in the beta. And we see that Chrome has it uh, HTTP2 in some Canary version. I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly which one. And we saw that um, just a week ago, Google had HTTP2 enabled in their, uh, in several of their front end servers at least. So we are seeing HTTP2 all over popping up now. I, w when I talk about HTTP2 to, to people in, in general, I, I do some talks every now and then about it. And then we often come to the question about, yeah, but if I want to enable it on my server, what am I supposed to do? And unfortunately, I'm not aware of any uh, Apache or Nginx uh, modules that are close to being available. So if you do, if you know, let me know, because I'm, I'm very interested in, in seeing where that goes and potentially help out. Okay, I'm see, I see that we are going a bit far too long here. But um, I wanted to say that I'm still fighting on the Firefox 939.3.18 patch. Uh, I found several bugs in my, in my code over the last few weeks, and I've iterated through them, and I'm, I'm on a... I uh, posted a request for review, so I'm hoping that finally this will land at some point. Yeah, we'll see. That was about that. Um, now it's a Monday morning. I'm going to just finish this up, throw it up to YouTube. And I'm very happy to see that uh, I'm getting feedback. So if you have any comments, questions, whatever, do enter them here. Like below on this field or wherever so I can read them or we can discuss them or yeah it could be fun um, that's it see you